It's official. Andre Godala will be playing this season in the NBA, but the Miami Heat have made a move for him, but is it the right move? We'll discuss that in this video, but before I get started with the video, you know I'm a Miami Heat fan, so I'm excited to talk about this video, but when I heard the news, I rushed back home, so I greatly appreciate it if you guys could leave a like to support the channel. I tried to get home and make this video as quick as I could because I know that a lot of you guys will want my thoughts on this situation as a Heat fan. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button for more NBA videos every single week, and hit that notification button so you never miss an upload. But before I get started, comment down below what you think about this trade, because yes, the Miami Heat got Andre Godala, but we did lose Justice Winslow, who obviously has been injured this season. But Justice Winslow looks like a decent player for the future for the Memphis Grizzlies. And now they've got a young core of Ja Morant, Dylan Brooks, Justice Winslow, Brandon Clark, Jaron Jackson Jr. It's a nice young core in Memphis, but for the Miami Heat, is it the right move? Let's talk about it. So firstly, what does Andre Iguodala bring to the Miami Heat? Considering he really hasn't played a major role in the last few years with the Golden State Warriors, last year with the Golden State Warriors, he played only 23 minutes and averaged 5.7 points, 3.7 rebounds, 3.2 assists, one steal, one block, shooting 50% from the field and 33% from the three. He obviously is a player that you know has experience and he's there for the playoffs. And that's where the Miami Heat are looking to go this season, the NBA playoffs. We don't know how far we're gonna go. We don't know if we're gonna go and win an NBA championship or if we're gonna get kicked out the first round. Because as a young team with the Miami Heat, having little to no experience with Kendrick Nunn, Tyler Hero, but then also having players like Goran Dragic and Jimmy Butler, we're in a weird predicament where we are competing, but we're also going pretty young as well. And so we have the opportunity just to see how it goes. And I have no doubt in my mind that Pat Riley has an idea and a plan for what this Miami Heat team could be. And I think with Andre Godala, he's one step closer to making this team more of a playoff team because I did like Justice Winslow, but Justice Winslow Winslow was inexperienced and, and he is a similar player to Andre Iguodala but once it gets to the playoffs you know what Andre Iguodala brings and you know that to close out games Iggy can be your man and you can rely on Iggy because he's had that experience in Golden State he knows what it takes to win and I think with Justice Winslow he obviously is a young player that you can't always rely on and with Iggy he's not the greatest three-point shooter but he is still a better three-point shooter than Justice Winslow and in my opinion just to close out games I would take a great defensive duo in Jimmy Butler and Andre Iguodala over Jimmy Butler and Justice Winslow because Iggy has that experience, which if you're going to the playoffs, experience is huge in my opinion. So I really like the acquisition of Andre Godala. So at first, in my opinion, I would say that a lot of people will agree that the Memphis Grizzlies won this trade. The Miami Heat have given up basically a younger Andre Godala that is probably not as good as Iggy. He obviously plays very similar though. A great defensive minded player who can play point guard, shooting guard, small forward and even power forward at times. Obviously the defense is there for both Iggy and for both Winslow except Winslow is far younger than obviously Andre Godala. But the Miami Heat have always found a way and you know that Pat Riley wouldn't make this move without having a plan in his mind. And when you think about it, the 2021 free agency class is where the Miami Heat are really looking to target players. Because the 2021 free agents is one of the best free agency class in a very long time. You have players like Chris Paul, LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, Blake Griffin, Paul George, Hayward, Conley, Lowry, DeMar DeRozan, Drew Holiday, Rudy Gobert, Anthony Davis, Drummond, Stephen Adams, Giannis Antetokounmpo and the list goes on with Victor Oladipo. Depot, LaMarcus Aldridge, and many other players. This free agency class is where the Miami Heat are looking to strike. They had their young core set up in Kendrick Nunn and Tyler Hero, and they do have Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, and they're the four guys that the Miami Heat will roll with in the future, along with other pieces like Duncan Robinson, etc. But where the Miami Heat are looking to target is a star player in that 2021 class. Whether that's Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Giannis Antetokounmpo, LeBron, I don't know who it could be. It's very open. The 2021 class is so open and up in the air because when when you think about it, the Los Angeles Clippers may win a championship in the next two years, but if the Clippers win a championship, that means the Bucks don't win a championship, and if the Bucks win the championship, that means the Clippers don't, but that means the Lakers don't. So one of those big names is gonna be in the free agency class without a championship. Whether that's Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo, one of those players may be disappointed that their team is unable to win a championship, and if they're getting kicked out in the conference finals and not able to make the NBA finals, they may look to move teams. Now, I'm not saying which player that's going to be because I have no idea but at the end of the day nothing in the NBA surprises me anymore so there's a lot of good players in that 2021 class that may be on the brink of leaving their team if they're not able to win now I'm not saying that the Miami Heat will definitely get a star player in the 2021 free agency class but what I am saying is that you can never count out Pat Riley and the Miami Heat organization 
And yes, the Miami Heat did get Andre Iguodala on a $30 million contract, but what people don't understand is that it's a two-year $30 million contract with the second year being non-guaranteed. And also, I did like Justin Winslow, but I don't think that Justin Winslow was the right piece for the Miami Heat going into the future. He basically plateaued throughout his career in the NBA so far. He obviously came into the league as a great defender, but he's basically just plateaued ever since he got into the league. He wasn't a great three-point shooter. He didn't finish around the rim very well. Offensively, he did lack, but yes, he was a solid defender, which is exactly what Andre Iguodala also brings to the Miami Heat organization. And honestly, thinking about the future of the Miami Heat, I just don't think that Winslow would fit in well with this team. Jimmy Butler isn't an amazing outside shooter, so if you have Winslow and Jimmy Butler playing together in the starting lineup, it just doesn't work. And I think the Miami Heat have found success in Duncan Robinson, Tyler Hero, and Kendrick Nunn, that they really don't need Justice Winslow anymore. They just need his defense, which I guess they can have that with Andre Iguodala. This season currently, Justice Winslow has been injured, and he's only played 11 games and only started five of those games. He's averaged 11 points and 6 rebounds with 4 assists per game, shooting only 22% from 3 and 38% as a field goal percentage. He was not the player that the Miami Heat would be able to run with in the future in my opinion. He's a good player, he was nice alongside Josh Richardson when the Miami Heat was struggling with Hassan Whiteside, but he's on a contract up until 2022 on a $30 million contract for the next 3 years and I just think it was about time we traded him away. And what we got in return was Andre Iguodala. Andre Iguodala is a known winner. You know he can play multiple positions, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, and even power forward at times. And he is almost a little bit like Justice Winslow, except the fact that he's healthy, number one. And number two, he's had proven success in the playoffs, where the Miami Heat are obviously looking to advance to this year and just see how far they go. And obviously, if it doesn't work out, well, at least his contract is off the books sooner than Justice Winslow, which allows them to make more moves during the free agency list and I have no doubt that Pat Riley made a smart move here. But also, the Memphis Grizzlies did really well because now they have a very young team that can work and piece things out together. Ja Morant, Dylan Brooks, they look like a very nice front court. And then you have Justice Winslow who can also be a playmaker for this Memphis Grizzlies team. And hopefully, for his sake, he's able to improve on his offensive game because he definitely lacks offensively with the Miami Heat. But maybe on Memphis, he'll find a bit more rhythm. And honestly, with the Miami Heat providing a team option for the 2021-2022 season, it gives the Miami Heat freedom to get rid of Andre Iguodala in the 2022 season, giving the Heat a lot of salary cap flexibility for free agency, which is definitely what the Miami Heat want. And if the Miami Heat do miss out on recruiting a max player, a star player, in which the Miami Heat really wanted, then the plan for the Miami Heat would be to guarantee that season's $15 million, according to Woj. So all in all, I didn't think that Winslow was going to be a part of this Miami Heat in the future. Did I think he would be traded for Andre Iguodala? Probably not. But at the end of the day, I have faith in Pat Riley and the Miami Heat organization. Ever since I've been a fan of the Miami Heat, Pat Riley has always done the right thing, in my opinion. He's always made the smartest moves. When he was able to get Kendrick Nunn and Tyler Hero, I had a lot of faith in him this year, but I did not think that we would be this good of a team. So having Andre Iguodala heading into the playoffs, I think, is very important for us. I think the Miami Heat are not done, and Pat Riley has already discussed getting a player like Danilo Gallinari, and I wouldn't be surprised if the Miami Heat also went after another big man for this team. Because now that the Miami Heat have Andre Iguodala, our defensive lineups are crazy. Obviously, Justice Winslow has barely played for us this season, but now if we can get Andre Iguodala to actually play, we're going to have Jimmy Butler and Andre Iguodala, who are lockdown defenders. Bam Adebayo, who's been a tough player to face up against for a lot of power forwards in the league. And the Miami Heat's overall defense as a whole looks very, very solid this year. But like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if the Miami Heat and Memphis still ends up being a three-team trade because that's been something that's been brought up. The Miami Heat and Pat Riley have looked into getting a player like Danilo Gallinari who would be huge for us because Danilo Gallinari is a stretch four, but he's also very, very tall and he would play so well alongside Bam Adebayo to close out games because then you could have a lineup of Goran Dragic or Kendrick Nunn, Andre Iguodala, Jimmy Butler, Danilo Gallinari, and to close it off, Bam Adebayo. And that could be a tough team to face up at the end of games with the Miami Heat organization still looking really strong off the bench with Kendrick Nunn, Tyler Hero, Duncan Robertson, Myers Leonard, and a whole bunch of other players. I'm really excited to see how the Miami Heat utilize Andre Iguodala on this roster. Obviously, he hasn't played all year, but he's on a championship-level team now. He wanted to be a part of a contending team, and now he is on one. And as for Justice Winslow, obviously, I'm sad to see him leave the Miami Heat organization, but I didn't see a few Future with him on the roster. He was great while he played for us defensively. Offensively, he wasn't as good as I expected coming out of Dukes. So hopefully he can improve on the Memphis Grizzlies because that would be fun to watch. With that said, let me know what you think 
about the trade. Who won? Who lost? It's been your Bonnie Smith. I don't see any losers here. I see both wins, in my opinion. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like to show your support. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I am out. Peace.